What neighborhood should you live in? Well, I'm sure that's a question you've been asking yourself. If you're thinking about making the move to Miami, Florida, stay tuned to this video because we're going to talk about one of the best neighborhoods to live here in Miami, which is Coconut Grove. We're going to talk about where to live, what kind of housing is there, where is it located, the proximity to everything, are there any great schools, uh, what is there to do, the lifestyle, all that and much more in this video. So stay tuned because we're jumping into it right now. Welcome back. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about living in Miami, Florida and the surrounding areas, then tap that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. My name is Raymond Goedi Gosari and I'm a full-time Florida realtor in the Miami area with your Living in Miami, Florida team. And we get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you looking to make that move to Miami, Florida. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving soon, 90 days from now, a year from now, Make sure to reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, days, nights, and weekends, we got your back. We're making that move to Miami, Florida. Coconut Grove is a wonderful neighborhood to live in Miami. The location is awesome. It's a little south. You're by the water, so you're next to the Biscayne Bay. There's a, a Dinner Key Marina, and you're close to Key Biscayne, you're close to the downtown area, close to Coral Gable. So you're smack in the center of everything. It, it has great housing whether you want to live in a single family house or in a high rise condo with beautiful ocean views, eh, you have those two options. There's families, there's also young professionals, there's a little downtown area by Main Street, tons of restaurants, cafes, bars, eh, lounges, fashion boutiques, all that. So it's a very unique and creative uh, neighborhood. So let's go ahead and check it out and see where everything is located so you can be more familiar eh, and maybe this is a good fit for you and or you and your family. Uh, or maybe it's not. So let's check out the Google Maps and dive into it right now. All right, we're here in Google Maps to check out uh, the area of Coconut Grove. Fantastic neighborhood, great location nestled within the trees and a lot of leaves and right on the water. So it has a little bit of everything, a lot of single family houses, beautiful uh, condos with amazing views. It has a lot of parks, it has a little downtown area with streets full of cafes, bars, restaurants. It has Coco Walk, which is a brand new it redeveloped because it was bit it was there before but they redid it and it came out amazing so first let's check out the location see where it's located this is coconut grove the white the light shaded area i'm going to zoom out so you can see where it's located within miami uh, us 41 is the one that goes all the way to the west part of florida it goes to naples and then it continues going north bordering the west coast it's a very old road. They made it so it can go all the way to Tampa. Sort of, that's not a dividing line. It's actually Flagler, which is right here, 953. But this is the middle of Miami. And Miami, the city of Miami is basically originated uh, right here by the water, Brickell downtown area. And almost everything in Miami, if you look at it, it looks like it's the southeast part of Miami. But no, almost everything in Miami is northwest or southwest. Because right here, if there's Miami Avenue, and that borders up here north. And from that to the right is east, northeast or southeast. But immediately, everything like direction wise turns to the southwest or northwest. So as I zoom out, all of this is considered Northwest Miami Dade. And down here is considered Southwest Miami Dade, all the way to Homestead and Florida City. So if you look at it, Coconut Grove is in a very central location. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in. You have US 1, which is a main. A street. It's not an expressway. It's filled with um, restaurants, shops, supermarkets, and malls, and a very busy uh, street that goes north and south. It goes all the way to the Florida Keys and north through Brickell, turns to Biscayne Boulevard in downtown, and shoots up north, a uh, border in the East Coast. So you have those two going up and up and down, north and south. Are you enjoying this video? If you are, make sure to comment below and smash that like button. Go ahead, you can do it. There you go. And this will help us to understand what you guys want to know about so we can provide better content for you in the future. If you want to go west, east, you got the water, you got Kibis Cane, you have the bridge going into Virginia Key and Kibis Cane. So you're literally neighboring Kibis Cane. Brickham downtown, uh, Coral Gables is right here. Fantastic neighborhood as well. University of Miami. 
but you can take Sunset, which is 72nd Street to 826, which is the main expressway going north and south, originating here on 88th Street, which is Kendall, Dayland area, north right through the middle of Miami. You can take also um, Bird Road, which is this one. So it's not close to expressways. If you have 95, which you can get it right here in the beginning, a US-1, you can take 95 and it shoots all the way up north, uh, bordering the east coast. So those are your easy access um, to expressways. But besides that, if, if you live here, you can pretty much hang out here, go to Key Biscayne, Briggle. You're not missing out. You feel like you're in a community. Uh, Coconut Grove is very community oriented. Uh, you feel like you're in a suburb, a small town, town feel, very laid back um in upscale but still laid back at the same time so picture yourself living a uh, with within the trees nestled between all the big huge trees in miami old trees uh, leaves everywhere um so very wild it has some parks and so that's the the, the style and the lifestyle of coconut grove you have let's go ahead and, and, and dive in so you can see where we're at we'll start up on the north side you have alice in wainwright park which I remember like if it was yesterday, that's where I had my, uh, we celebrated our oldest daughter, which is now six, gonna turn seven, her first birthday. And remember it was, like it was yesterday, it was in October. We thought it was gonna be in a nice cool weather and it was so hot. We, we had a picnic outside. We liked it because it's right by the water, beautiful views, they have a playground and they have barbecues. It's a park that's really hidden in this little neighborhood because right here is a dead end you got the bridge going in here and you got nice views water and you got the ocean breeze so um that park was is near and dear to my heart because uh because of my oldest daughter's first birthday the kids playground and around here this little rectangle gorgeous uh, single family homes large large homes with good sized lots and uh, some have waterfront as you move down south you have Vizcaya Museum, which is an old estate, been around uh, for, I think, before Miami was even a city. And it has uh, an entry for the boats when they used to come in. And now it you know, used to be um, of a huge estate with beautiful gardens. Now it's just a museum. You can go in and check out the inside the house and the gardens around it. It, it is really gorgeous. So that's something to do. Um, as you South Miami Avenue right here see if I zoom in South Miami Avenue is a main a avenue that turns to South Bayshore Drive along here are single family homes very you can see they're close to us one close to everything but if you live here you're pretty um, sort of secluded uh, within your own little neighborhood and not a lot of here a lot of cars go by but not a lot of like busy things going on within here it's all residential Tiger Tail is another main avenue. You have here um, a high school, LaSalle High School, which is a good high school. One of my cousins, my, one of my youngest cousins went there, graduated from that high school. You have Mercy Hospital, let's see if it pops up. There it is, Mercy Hospital, right on the water in this little area. So this is uh, the high school here, and all this is just from the hospital. This is the north part of Coral Gables. You have Grove Isle which if you just like to live in a little secluded island, very private in all condos, and they're just remodeling a lot of it right now, building new ones, they have a little marina. So if you like living in the Grove, but a little away from everything, this is a nice little option, but again, it's all condos. So if you like that, that's a good option. As you're moving down South Bay Shore Drive, you're starting to get into the heart of Coconut Grove. All this is single family homes. You got in David Kennedy Park, very popular park that has volleyball courts and you can walk around, have picnics, bring your dog. There's actually a frozen lemonade truck that has been there since 1978, I think. And he is so popular. Uh, the lines sometimes are super long on a nice day if people are outside, um, but he is always there uh, right in, in this park. There's a dog park, volleyball, and you have the Coral Reef Yacht Club and Monty's, which is another. There's a marina and Monty's is a restaurant, waterfront dining, very casual, great seafood, or you could just go hang out, have some drinks. Uh, I know you've seen this probably in some movies. And I think in um, Meet the Fockers, I think there's a part that they did a, a scene there, um, but 
this is a nice little area, Monty's. And there's a, little, a couple shops, a Starbucks in this little location, and along with a marina in the back. So all this Bayshore Drive it, is gorgeous. On the north side, you will have residential. Close to the water, you have the park, and then you have the marinas, the little shopping strip, you have the fresh market. And, and then as you pass the fresh market, you have Dinner Key, which is a very big marina. And also the city of Miami has their headquarters uh, here, Miami City Hall. It, all this is the Dinner Key Marina in Regatta Harbor. A lot of boats, tons of boats, sailboats uh, around the marina and just floating around here in the middle of the ocean by the bay. So it's a beautiful location if you have a boat or if you just, you, could, you don't have to have a boat, you can actually rent or get a captain, rent it for the day. But they, there's a lot of um, rentals going on. You can rent jet skis. All this location you have regatta park which is just an open park people can just hang out walk around they'll do festivals and events here and as you're moving closer here you start getting into the sort of the downtown area of coconut grove you have the sailing club bayshore sort of turns in here once you make that turn you have peacock park in which is a huge uh, open field that has one softball field but the rest is just wide open right on the water and they do events like when they do the Coconut Grove Art Festival, they set up a stage there or sometimes two, and that's where they play their music for two or three days. There's tents everywhere selling food, um, displaying the arts. That's sort of like the hub for, for the art festival because the art festival goes up north all the way to the Dinner Key area by here, all over the street, into the park, and it curves around to Grand Avenue, which is the center right here in the middle where, um, where you got Coco Walk and outdoor shopping. So once you make that, that turn, you have Glass and Vine, which is a nice little outdoor restaurant just where you can just have sit down and have a happy hour or just have some wine and drinks and next to the Coconut Grove Library. Across from it doesn't pop up yet. We have Peacock Cafe, which has been there forever. So if you live here, you'll get to know the, the, the places that have been around for a while, sort of like the staples. And uh, you'll, you'll become a local because it's a very community-oriented neighborhood. Uh, so once you live there, You'll get to see the same faces over and over. You get some tourists coming to this area because it's a nice location and to visit uh, and enjoy a nice day and or just come out to, the, to any festivals that they do. And But you'll definitely get to see familiar faces if you live here. It has that small town feel. So as you come in here, you got Coco Walk, uh, which is, the, like I said, an outdoor shopping center that was there. They basically to almost tore it down and they revamped it, renovated it, completely different, very modern looking, the same shape, same location. Um, has restaurants in the bottom, some shops, a little less shops than before, um, but it's, it still has a, a nice um, modern look to it. So as you go ahead and turn in here down Main Highway, you have more uh, small little streets that go in and out, and you have all these little uh, restaurants. You have tons of ice cream shops, cafes in here. Lulu is a nice one. Green Street Cafe is another nice little outdoor restaurant, indoor seating as well with umbrellas outside it's it's so nice to come here on a sunday afternoon and just have a nice late brunch um, with some mimosas this is a great location in locales i love locales they have awesome burgers in the name of locale because everything that they get and from their ingredients to the meat the bread everything even the beers are local local like not in miami but within the state of florida and so that is really cool and good food so all this is is just walk, very walkable in the neighborhood during afternoons you'll see tons of people walking up and down the streets and um even on a, a night like a friday night it, it gets pretty popular one of the spots that i love to go with my family my kids really enjoy is salt and straw here it is salt and straw right here right next to coco walk it's an ice cream shop that people love the lines are always out the door they have the same flavors, like the same five, six flavors, but they're always changing and adding new flavors every week. They get very creative and unique and their shakes are amazing. Um, on Sunday afternoon, late afternoon, almost at nighttime, it's a very popular time to eat ice cream. I don't know why, but it just gets packed, um, I guess to finish off the week on a sweet note, whatever it is, but it's, it's a time where it gets very busy. Not only this ice cream shop, but most ice cream shops in, in Miami. So that's a nice little, little spot. So here, tons of activities and, and restaurants to try and cafes to hang out. Uh, so this is a nice little uh, downtown uh, area for Coconut Grove. So this is like the, the hub. We already discussed the top and all around here, you have single family homes and 
like I mentioned earlier, these homes are nestled within the trees. A lot of luscious trees all over the homes. Not well manicured, but that's the style that Coconut Grove it has and people, people love. So even if you live over here, people walk or take their bike and they go all the way to Main Street and back. And it's a very safe neighborhood. And it, it looks like it's a long walk, but it, but it's not. People do it all the time to get their exercise. And so it's a, now as you move down here, Southwest Coconut Grove, you take Main Street all the way down. You have some nice schools. We mentioned La Salle up on the north side. You have Ransom Everglades, a, another private school, amazing school. You have Carlton is another school. This is a, an all-girl high school. And so is Ransom. Ransom not a girl, girl but it, it's a high school. These are two fantastic schools in Coconut Grove if you're looking to send your children to private school. So within Coconut Grove, you can live here. You may be able to work here. Um, most of the jobs are going to be, you know, talking about like office jobs are going to be in this area behind Coconut Grove. There's some buildings. A lot of marketing agencies are, are in here. Because before, there was a lot of, in the 80s, 90s, a lot of bars and restaurants very happening. That sort of got ripped away and torn out and they wanted to start fresh and these big marketing firms moved in and that's when coconut grove started like um people started stopped visiting it and now it's revamping again and it's trending in the right direction and it's a really booming area it's not a new area but it's booming again coconut grove so on this side if you're looking let's say coconut grove now the prices of real estate here are towards the high end because just of the location the great neighborhood great schools a lot of parks, uh, things to do. It's just a very community oriented neighborhood. So the values of these homes maintain, even the condos. But there's an area right here in this section past Douglas uh, where there were older homes, small homes, uh, good sized lots that investors are buying and they've been tearing them down and building either beautiful homes or because you could do it in that area, making duplexes uh, and renting them out. So there's a lot of opportunity right here and this area is growing and sort of getting better because it wasn't as good as before. Not people, not a lot of people live there. So it's sort of vacant. Now there's a lot of life on this area and it's a little more affordable. As you move down here on the Southwest Coconut Grove, still nestled within a lot of woods, but a different feel from the homes over here on the Northeast. These have a little bit more a uh, lot size and a different feel to it. You are a little less away, but not much. Uh, but you're still Coconut Grove, it has the same feel. You have Merry Christmas Park, another park that has a playground. So in Coconut Grove has tons of parks, trees everywhere, all over, except in like in the parks, it's wide open. You can see, but there's trees lining it. You're right in the water. You get that nice, cool ocean breeze. Um, you're, you're pretty central. You're close to all the action in the downtown area. You can, you can go to the Miami Beach area, Key Biscayne. So the location is fantastic. It has great schools. Uh, you're bordering awesome neighborhoods, which you have Coral Gables here, Silver Bluff popping up here, uh, Shenandoah, Silver Bluff, the roads is in this area, and then you got Brickell downtown, Key Biscayne. So you're in a fantastic neighborhood. And then Coral Gables goes all the way down south. So it's bordering great neighborhoods, right on the water, amazing homes, all in Coconut Grove. So maybe Coconut Grove is a good fit for you. And if it's not, then um, when you reach out to us, let us know what your lifestyle is and we'll go ahead and, and find you something in a neighborhood that fits your lifestyle. So there you have it. Now you're well informed on what it's like living in Coconut Grove. So if you're thinking about moving to Miami and this is a good neighborhood and you see yourself living here, fantastic. I'm glad I was able to give you good, valuable information so you can make a good decision. If this is not in the neighborhood that you're thinking about moving down here after watching this video you're like you know what this is a uh, very nice but i'm looking for something else make sure when we talk and you reach out to us to let us know what your lifestyle is because that's the number one uh, determining factor that is gonna help us put you in the right neighborhood once we decide on the neighborhood it's easier just finding the homes and, and going to work and checking out the homes making offers and help you get into the right home in the right neighborhood that fits your lifestyle. So make sure to reach out to us because that's the only way we can help you. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you wanna get a hold of us, days, nights, and weekends, we got your back. We're making that smooth move to Miami, Florida. And until next time, we'll see you later.